This pretty little airplane is, it belongs to Earl Kirkpatrick, one of our members here at 280. It's an RV4. It's built in 1990. It's a beautiful airplane, very well built. He's got it for sale. Looks like it's going 200 miles an hour just sitting there. It's got a Lycoming 0320 160 horse engine, three blade Cato prop. Vertical stab and the uh, rudder always reminded me of a P-51. Earl told me to go ahead and climb in it. He didn't tell me I could take it around the patch. I wonder if he'd get mad if I did that. <laughs> it's got a control stick in the back seat, but it doesn't have rudder pedals back here. I guess you could probably retrofit rudder pedals in there. I don't know how difficult that might be. There are three cylinders that Earl had to take off and had some work done, chromed back to standard. He's done several uh, upgrades on it. It's a full IFR airplane. <clears throat> Everybody's in the pool BS and nobody's coming out looking at the airplanes. It's Piper J4. Oh, sorry. J4A. Serial number 1280. We're not quite sure what the year it was built in. Jim said 41, but he's not sure. The old J4 Cub Coupe. It's got sticks, control sticks in it. When I was young, 17, 16, 17, there was a guy, Charlie Wilkerson's brother, <coughs> Charlie was my uh, flight instructor. His brother had one of these over at Russell Field. And I used to bum rides off of him all the time in one of these. They're great airplanes. Look out. This is one of the airplanes of the month at our chapter meeting, EAA Chapter 280. This airplane belongs to a fellow named Tony Tiger. He keeps it over at, uh, does he keep it at Midway? No, uh, uh, Lancaster. Lancaster, okay. Yeah, I've seen it around, and I never knew who it belonged to. Well, it did it gear up one time. Somebody called him from the ground and said, I think it was the right gear was just kind of swinging in the air. Really? And uh, so he went ahead and landed it, and it laid down on the right side, and they patched it. it uh, the, uh, uh, the bolt on the, the V in the middle came out. Really? Wow. And I just I was just showing them the difference between this and a T-Craft as far as headroom. This thing's got massive headroom, and, of course, you get outside and look at it, it's deep. Oh yeah, I told you. I told you. This, it's so much better than a T craft as far as room. I wonder how it relates uh, to a chief. I guess they're maybe this about the same. Yeah, probably. Now Jamie's chief was real tight for me, but he had padding in his seats that were real thick. Cool little airplane. Always loved the old J4, the old Cub Coop. Cooper Rinsky.
They fly great. I love the sticks. Great big sticks. Beautiful airplane. Headroom out the... I mean, you got plenty of headroom uh, compared to a uh, T-Craft. Plenty of side window. Look inside. It's a cool airplane. Didn't need a lot of instrumentation. No. Well, I just found out it's a 1940 J4A. Whose cub is this, Mark? Just brakes on it. That's all I've done to it. How long have you had it? I bought it in 08. Early 08. It's gone on had it nine years, I guess. I saw this airplane, I guess it was you, uh, doing touch and goes over here one time about a year and a half, two years ago. Here? No, I hadn't been here. You haven't? Mm -hmm. Well, somebody had one look just now, like it. It looks like a Taylor craft. Well, well, it is. This you know, was when, a Taylor and, when Taylor and Piper split, uh, they made these in 39, 40, and 41. And I guess Piper needed to compete with the, with Taylor's, you know, uh, mm. coupe design. So they made this. And then it, at the end of 41, I guess when the war broke out, they discontinued these and kept making the three and the five. Oh. Well, but making the four. So be another J4 flying around here. Oh, there's a, a couple of them, but uh, I hadn't seen one with that paint scheme on it. That, there's a guy that was down at Lake Whitney, two doors down from me, had a Taylor Crab. It had that exact same paint scheme on it, except his leading edges were red and my tips are red. Uh-huh. I think I've got video of that other point. I'll, I'll dig around in my archives and see if I can find it. Some, most people mistake it for a Taylor Craft mm -hmm. just because of the shape of it. Yeah. yeah, this was a J4. You can tell by the landing gear. You know. Yeah. And see, I've got the oleo struts on it, so I can handle the rough. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, great big rough stuff, but uh, like my strip done at Whitney is, I call it cobblestone. You know, it's just, it's just. Oh yeah. You know, it'll. Like if you land on it with that, with that RV, you'd probably break the wheel pants. Oh you know, yeah. Just, just rumbling. But this thing here just takes it because they're, you know, they're, you don't have a lot of movement, but you yeah. do got enough. You have enough to. Whereas on a J3, where you got that solid stroke mm. right there, it'll it'll shake your teeth loose. Yeah, I've got a clip wing cup back here, and you're exactly yeah. right. That stiff gear just. And this this here just, you know, I can't, you know, go over giant rocks or anything, but mm -hmm. and I can't put tundra tires on it because the axles come from the middle all the way back. Mm -hmm. See the the gear leg there doesn't. Well, the axle's attached to the yeah. piece, I don't know what you call that, but, and, it, and it gets twist in it. Mm -hmm. If you put those big tires on it, they would get Yeah, this is my second day off since Austin. Uh, how are you guys doing? Good. Doing good. I wonder if you know who there's a small experimental park on the taxi. It's <laughs> 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 about to fly, bro. Oh, yeah. Wow. I don't think it's not very fast. Well, I can fly this thing. Indicating 30. But, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. but uh, this guy, he, we were going to go up, and he was late getting there, and he didn't have that much time, so he just jumped in mine, already had a free fly, and took off. And on the downwind, there's another cub in the pattern doing this B-52 thing. He goes, well, we can do a 360. He said, that's all right, we'll slow it down. Just hang it there. And he goes, he looks down, he goes, I know mine won't go this 
slope.